on this episode of Gadget. We're controlling this with this using this. We've got the CS661 from Hatton Technology. We'd like to thank our production sponsors, the University Catholic Center, the California Province of the Society of Jesus, Gateway, and Click Free. And welcome back to Gadget at thetechstop.net. It's a place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balliser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We are the largest religious order in the Catholic Church, and we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology in Honolulu, Hawaii. Now, before we get onto the review, I want to ask everyone out there to please, please stop by our YouTube page at www.youtube.com forward slash gadget TTS. That's Gadget the Tech Stop, and subscribe. Once you've subscribed, you'll be eligible to enter our contest to win a HD 801 160GB automatic backup from Click Free. As long as you're watching, you might as well be winning. Now let's get on to the tech. This week we're taking a look at a very interesting device in the CS661 from Madden Technology. Now this is a cool little USB KVM. Now if you've been geeking out for a while, you know that KVM stands for Keyboard, Video, and Mouse. Essentially a, a little device that allows you to take one keyboard, one mouse, and one display and use it to control multiple computers. It's a very useful tool for those who have to control server rooms or multiple desktops, multiple laptops, whatever it might be. Now the cool thing about this is rather than having to use an actual keyboard, mouse, and video display, it allows you to use your laptop or your netbook. As you can see, even though I can control the screen using the remote laptop that's hooked up to the screen, I also have the ability to control it using this laptop over here because it's hooked up via this little USB device. Now, we've had this for a couple of weeks, we've put it through its paces, and this is what we found. The Atten Laptop USB KVM Switch Model CS661 is a self-contained software hardware solution that allows you to control the keyboard, video, and mouse functions of one computer from another, simply by linking up the two computers via their USB ports. The CS661 itself is small, very small. It measures three and a half inches long, one and a quarter inches wide, half an inch high, and weighs just three ounces. It requires no external power, drawing everything it needs from the USB port, and working with Windows 2000, XP, 2003, 2008, and Vista. Adden includes a little carrying pouch to keep everything cinched and neat when the CS661 isn't in use. Looking a little like a pack of chewing gum, the CS661 has a set of LEDs on the face that give you an at-a-glance status of connectivity and activity. The top of the device is rounded, and the bottom of the CS661 houses a single USB 2.0 port. Any device connected to this port will be linked to the local computer, a nice feature for anyone who will be using this device with a netbook or other USB port limited computer. The CS661 has a dedicated local and remote end of the device, meaning that one side will always control the other. The function of each end is clearly marked on the USB plug itself, though we wish that Adden had also marked the end of the device, just to make things a little easier. The local USB cable extends three feet, while the remote side goes on for just under 5, meaning that you can access the remote computer with a laptop or desktop that is up to 8 feet away. Just for fun, we've tested the CS661 with two 15-foot USB 2.0 powered extender cables. It worked, but such a practice isn't recommended since you'll be close to overdrawing the total power available on the USB 2.0 bus. Using the CS661 is easy. You plug the USB plug labeled remote into the computer you wish to control, and the plug labeled local into the computer you want to use to display the video feed. To each computer, the CS661 will appear to be a USB drive, and Windows will attempt to auto-launch the software. A window will then open on the local workstation that shows the entire visible desktop of the remote. That's it. You now have full control of the remote computer, and can do anything to it that you would be able to do if you were sitting at the keyboard of that workstation. Though the software functions much like several popular remote desktop clients like the various flavors of VNC or Microsoft's RDC, the big difference is that the display, keyboard, and mouse on the remote computer will operate exactly as it is shown on the local window. 
when using Microsoft RDC or many of the versions of VNC, you are essentially logging into a virtualized account that will not show up on the remote screen. Using the CS661, you can take control of a remote computer, have the display of the remote computer show exactly what you are doing, and have the remote user interact with you through the same keyboard and mouse. For the slightly more mature Uber Geek, this is like an auto-loading, more user-friendly version of PC Anywhere. Video quality is quite perfect. No dithering here. You'll see exactly what is seen on the remote computer, though there is a slight lag between the local and remote stations. You definitely will not want to do any timing-sensitive functions or run video through the CS661, but it works just fine for everything else, from networking to web browsing to word processing. At the top of the window, you'll find a set of buttons that control the various functions and options for the CS661. The first button will open the file transfer function, a useful tool for those who want a secure way to send files back and forth between the remote and local computer. It's easy to use and just as fast as the USB 2.0 port will allow. However, we would like to see future versions of the software include the option to automatically establish mapped hard drives between the two workstations. Though it would be less secure, it would make dragging and dropping much easier. The next two buttons toggle the remote window between full screen and minimized. The fourth button will send a control out delete command to the remote station, and the final button will set the window to maximum resolution. In all, the CS661 is a well-designed tool that does the job it was created for, controlling a remote computer with a minimum of configuration and setup. The Atten CS661 laptop USB KVM is available now. Shop around and you'll be able to find it for under $100. I've been looking for something like the CS661 for quite some time. And for me, it's been a matter of not wanting to have to carry around a keyboard and a mouse and a, a display when I already have it in my laptop, which is always with me. Now, until now, there's been no real easy way to use my laptop to do that. I mean, I could shell in, I could do something like a remote desktop, or I might even have PC Anywhere running. But those programs require a connection between the two computers, possibly a network connection, possibly a way to, to get infected, or, or, or just a reconfiguration of the notebook that I'm carrying around, and I just don't want to have to do that. I mean, this is an easy way to get you connected when you need to get connected. When you're walking to a data center, when you're doing field work, when you're doing troubleshooting across the hall, whatever it might be, something like the CS661 is an essential piece of an Uber Geek repair kit. But that's not to say that it can only be used by Uber Geeks. I see something like this, especially at the $100 price point, being useful for, say, professionals who want to be able to walk into a remote office and connect their laptop to a desktop without having to worry about reconfiguring their, their notebook or, or changing the settings or, or worrying about infection. I see it being used by people who want to do presentations on remote presentation systems. I see it being used by average Joes who just want to hook up their desktop to their laptop and, and do something like what we're doing right now. Now, that's not to say that there are no negatives to the CS661. There are two that I see. The first being that there is no cross-platform support. That means that if you're using a Mac or a Linux machine, you're out of luck. It will only work with Windows Vista and XP. The second thing, and this I think is the killer for me, if you have overly restrictive security policies running on your Windows machines that don't let them auto-run programs on USB devices, then you're still going to need something to be able to get into that computer at least the first time to tell it that it's okay to run this software. Now that's not a deal killer because most of my gear is set up the way that I like it because I have a secure environment, but if you're walking into a data center that could be a huge pain in the butt at least the first time. Now I'm sure that there are ways around it. I'm sure there will be plenty of, of security fixes that, that will let you use something like the CS661 especially as more products like this pop up. But, uh, you know, right now, even with that, I have to say that this is a fantastic piece of gear to own for your Uber Geek kit. If you want something that will let you clear up your KVM clutter, if you want something that will easily connect two different computers and allow you to transfer files back and forth, then might I suggest you take a look at the CS661 from Atten Technology. You can find out more about this by going to their webpage at www.atten-usa.com. If you want to find our full write-up of the Atten CS661, you can go to our webpage at www.thetechstop.net. If you want to send us an email message, you can reach us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek.
without you.